Cheers, Ken. Yes. Oh, wait. There we go. Got yes. It. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> no New Year's Eve would be complete without the traditional champagne toast. So what will you be pouring in your glass tomorrow night? Well, here to help us guide through the choices to ensure we pick the perfect champagne to usher in 2021 is our favorite wine connoisseur, Kirk Peterson. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for having me. Of course. So talk to us about Champagne, everybody's uh, favorite celebration drink. And what makes champagne champagne? Champagne is a sparkling wine that comes from the Champagne region of France. And it's only champagne if it comes from the Champagne region. But in addition to being a wine, it's as much of a methodology as it is an actual wine in that there's a secondary fermentation that takes place inside the bottle. Huh. That's why it's sparkling. Oh, very cool. So um, everybody knows you, can, you, you can't call it champagne, like you said, if it's not from that region. But there are some different styles, right? Absolutely. So um, in, it, as long as the, the wine is produced in a method where the fermentation happens inside the bottle, there are other sparkling wines in, outside of the Champagne region in France called Cremants. There's Francia Corda from Italy. Mm. There's Cava from Spain. They're all going to give it that roasty, yeasty, toasty sort of character that you're looking for. Oh, interesting. Uh, so how do we find a champagne that we all will enjoy? We know they have different flavor profiles, of course, like any other wine. Absolutely. I mean, really, with, this, with a, a small vocabulary, you can look for, uh, you can find a style that is to your taste. Many champagnes are actually blend of red and white grapes, mm. but there are Blanc de Blancs that are made entirely from white. There are Blanc de Noirs made entirely from red. You can make a clear wine from red grapes. The color only exists in the skin. Oh, I didn't um, know that. And importantly, that. you want to think about dosage. Dosage is a fancy word for basically the level of sweetness because this wine is dry when it's fermented, so they put just a little whisper of sugar at the end to kind of round it out. It makes it very variable in terms of food pairings. Huh, is that the reason why some of us may wake up with a headache the next morning after having champagne? I'm sorry to say that that is a contributing factor, but minor <laughs> compared to the amount of uh, ethyl alcohol, unfortunately, that it does contain. <laughs> okay, so we can blame the alcohol, that's for sure. All right, so w what kind of champagne are, are you pouring? What's your favorite type? Well, I mean, I'm pouring as much as possible. Um, and it's <laughs> nice to have a variance, but there's a couple things that you can look for. I mean, remember that champagne, there's vintage champagne, there's non-vintage champagne. Don't get caught up in that idea. Okay. There is, one is not actually superior to the other. Okay. Furthermore, I would, uh, I, would, I would ask the viewers to look for, there's little clues on the label, and there's, these little clues can go really far. There's a style of champagne known as grower champagne, or RM, you'll see a little RM that stands for Rocotant Manipulant on the label. And this is actually small producers that grow their own grapes, make their own wine, and um, make an excellent alternative to some of the big boys. Okay, now if somebody maybe wants to pour Prosecco instead of Champagne, would you be opposed to that on New Year's Eve? I would not be opposed to that. Sometimes it's nice to ride a bike. Other times it's nice to ride in a Bentley. Both are appropriate. <laughs> I love that so much. Okay, and here's your information, Kirk. Follow Kirk on his website, kirkpetersonwine.com. We've also got his social media channels up there right now. Cheers Indeed. to you, Kirk. Thank you so much for joining us, and we wish you a wonderful, happy, and successful new year. Thank you. Same to you. Visit the website. Also have links to local independent wine shops where you can find last-minute champagne. I love that. Thanks, Kirk. Thank you. And now, and now that you have your champagne, you're ready to celebrate with RuPaul.